In this next Speed Fusion video, we are going to show you how to configure multiple tunnels within one Speed Fusion VPN connection. Much like the example displayed here, we'll have three sub tunnels to handle different applications and devices. If you have not reviewed any of the Speed Fusion configuration videos on how to set up the tunnel, please do so before watching this video as we're going to skip past the basic configuration. Settings such as WAN connection selection and priority, WAN smoothing, and bandwidth limits can be set differently by creating multiple tunnels within your Speed Fusion profile. However, it still only counts as a single peer connection. Together with outbound policy rules, you have more granular control over how your connections are managed. Although in our configuration we'll only be setting up three tunnels, up to five are supported. You'll start here at the Speed Fusion profile configuration by clicking on the profile name, or create a new profile. Find the blue question mark icon at the top right corner. Click this link to display the multiple tunnel option. Tunnel number one is going to be the first tab it shows here by default. We'll call this tunnel VoIP. WAN smoothing will be set to normal. And then we'll set both WAN and cellular to priority one so we have a bonded connection. Wi-Fi WAN will only be used for failover so that is set to priority two. Tunnel number two is created by clicking the plus sign to the right of our tunnel one tab here. This is going to be used for our guest network, so we'll name it accordingly. We also don't want our guests using too much of our bandwidth. So we're applying a bandwidth limit of 5 megabits per second. The last thing we want is to restrict this to the primary WAN with failover to the Wi-Fi WAN. Again, we'll need to click the plus button to add another tunnel. Number three will be restricted to WAN 1 only. The rest of our configuration will remain on default settings. In previous videos, we also covered how to control which kind of traffic goes through your Speed Fusion connection. In this case, we'll show how you do this with multiple tunnels. Depending on your router model, outbound policy will be found either under the Network or Advanced tab. If you need to create any rules outside the VPN tunnel and strictly over a single WAN or multiple WANs, you will need to enable Expert Mode. This could differ between some firmware versions. Expert mode will automatically enable when the send all traffic to setting is configured at the Speed Fusion PEP VPN page. Or, you'll go to the outbound policy page and click on the question mark in the rules section. When enabled, you'll see the banner it adds for Speed Fusion VPN routes, which will default to the highest priority. To route outside the VPN, your rule must be moved above this banner. Click Add Rule to create a new rule. As an example, we'll set one for our guest network to use the guest VPN tunnel. We'll set a name, then confirm the enable box is checked. Source refers to the device or devices we need to set the rule to control so that we'll network and then we'll set our guest VLAN IP here. Destination is one of the speed fusion tunnels we just created. In our case, that the guest tunnel. Protocol can usually be set to any, or you can select from available options. Lastly, choose the algorithm, either priority so you can have failover with multiple VPN or WAN connections, or select enforced if you want to force the device or network to only use one particular connection. Click save, then apply changes when you're done. Settings should automatically take effect, but if you have trouble, usually rebooting the router is the best solution.